Right now that you have that cut out, um, you're going to want to cut the little windows of the backing cards. So, set those aside. I already made one. Um, you want to make this hole fit the whole entire patch inside of it. That way you can do the multiple layers so it comes out good. So the first card you should um, use the template on is the card that is covered in black. So once again, six of these, we're fast forwarding through this so we can make this video within 10 minutes. So let's go. Alright, now that you have your cards cut out and ready to go, first thing you're going to do is glue the top card to the card with the black border. Um, this one you're going to want to be very careful with. I recommend gluing the top of the base cards just so you don't get anything else covering glue. Um, the patch goes in last. Some people think the patch should go in first, but it goes in the complete last step. So once again we're gonna fast forward. I use a glue stick to glue these cards together. Alright, make sure you layer them. Don't just stick them all together at once. Ready? Let's go. Alright, so once you have five of the backings on, you're going to need to do the patch. So, where did the patch go? Here we go. You're going to make sure that it's aligned right. So, before you like glue it in, make sure you have it in the right spot. You want it right about there. So, it's about half and half. So, what you're going to do is the same thing, except to put the last card on backwards. So glue this side. Fast forward through this. Can't wait a minute, we screwed that up. Um, you're gluing this card on normal. But hang on. Alright, yay, we just made an extra card. You don't need this one. Scratch that. I knew something was up. You need a blank. Completely blank, no hole cut. Same thing upside down. 
this is your backing. So look, patch. So now that you have that in there, last step is the autograph. So, what you're going to want to do for the autograph. Um, so you're going to want to find a picture with the autograph on it. I have a big signed photo autograph right there, right? What you're going to do is get the autograph, move it over a little bit, drag this picture on to your cut. I'm going to have to resize this, so give me a second. Alright, so once you have it positioned like this, um, you can see the outline of the other card. You're going to want to print this picture. And we'll go do that. So, this one doesn't have to be on special paper, this one should just be normal. So, fast forward. Once you have the card, it's kind of overlaid. What you're going to do is you're going to take the real card and make sure it's overlaid. Check it through the back. Just make sure it's aligned right. Now you're going to take a ballpoint pen and trace over the autograph. I can find my pen. Alright, now that you did that, um, there should be a little bit of an indentation. You're going to take your mini sharpie the cap and you're going to trace it. So, looks pretty good. It's a little bit off, but what can you do? Where'd the cap go? Um, Whatever. Right. So now you have a completed card. Um, I think they look pretty good. It's kind of thick. You can write on the back whatever, or you can print off another picture and put it on the back, like words. So, that is how to make homemade cards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. Leave a comment or PM me. I'll be happy to answer this. Them. <laughs> um, if you want to buy one, um, five bucks, shipping included. So two dollars for the card, three dollars for shipping. So I'll see you guys later.